Hi, Internet. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, never mind the bad wig, never mind the bad lighting. Just understand that on my channel, I talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about. Usually, it's just my mental health or my life. And oftentimes, there's some type of controversy that's really grinding my gears. And I need to itch to scratch. And the only way I can do it is by talking to you all via the Internet. It's this established title stuff that's going on. What's making me upset? What's making me well, not upset? I'm just super irritated. Is that if you're irritated and annoyed, is that enough to say you're upset? Maybe um, this YouTuber I have on screen, she's not the only one defending this company. Um, the only reason why I can think that you would defend this company is because you are financially incentivized. <laughs> to try to have as many of your subscribers not feel it's a scam so that you can keep using them as a sponsor and keep your pay grade, keep your payola coming. Um, otherwise, what are you, you're not being for real. Like, I don't know. I refuse to, I just, I just don't want to believe that this many people, cause she's not the only one. I don't, I don't want to believe that this many people are playing dumb. Like, I don't, I don't want to believe this many people are playing dumb about the situation. So if you don't know what established titles is, it is a company that um, they say you can become a lord or lady today by a plot of land, save the Scottish woodlands. Okay, when you go to the FAQ, let's say you really think, wow, I can become a lord or lady. Let me do my due diligence and go to the FAQs and make sure. Can I refer to myself as a lord or lady? Yes. Most jurisdictions will allow you to update your title when you choose to. That doesn't sound like it's a gag gift to me. I, I'm just saying. Um, what are souvenir plots? Uh, the plots of land themselves are recognized and referred to as souvenir plots in Scotland. Those souvenir plots are typically too small to be registered with Scottish land registry directly. We maintain our own private records and take our arrangements with our lords and ladies very seriously. So already they're calling us lords and ladies. Um, it sounds like, okay, typically if I were to do this with some other company, I wouldn't be registered with Scottish land registry. But since this company maintains their private records, maybe this is an exception. Like my point is the FAQ does not make it clear whatsoever that this is completely fake. This is gag. This is not real. You're not actually a lord or lady. You do not actually own land in Scotland. Okay. This is on the FAQ. I don't know how much deep, because let me be honest, I listened to just one person. I listened to one person defend um, this company. The other people, I just listened to parts in the here and there, and I just couldn't, I, like, my brain was itching. I just couldn't take it. My brain was itching, like, oh, my God. But I listened to this one lady, not, no, I'm sorry, not you, not this one, not this one. But I listened to, I kind of feel like they probably all have the same points. <laughs> because the thing with these youtubers they are all in they're all in discord chat groups together i would not be surprised if they all have the same points but anyway they all they all talk together like <laughs> um the late the, the lady i was listening to she was saying if you if you just actually read the website you'll see very cl pl plainly that it's that it's not that it's not real, but I'm on the FAQ and it's not very plain at all. And I don't know if I need to, do we need to click the terms and conditions at that point? Do we need to click privacy policy? Like where do we need to click to get the actual real information? If it takes that much digging and sleuthing to see the truth of what you're actually buying, I'm sorry, that's a scam. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough BS for the average everyday person to regard this as a scam you know and the thing is there they have um facebook ads where in the facebook ad it is saying you are legally a lord or lady now when it comes to facebook ads and, and instagram ads stuff like that um there's a lot of scams there's a lot of scams um if you are if you can, if you buy stuff off those platforms, you're very well aware, right? We know about how the wig companies will have some girl that 
they did not pay who's wearing a wig that they do not sell. You know what I mean? Advertising it. Um, I fell for a scam. You know, again, like you could technically argue it's not technically a scam because if you clicked here and here and here, then you would have seen it. But OK, um, if you ever get that advertisement about how you you can get a cleaner to come clean your home for twenty nine dollars, that's a scam. Um, <laughs> right. And then a lot of arguments that I've seen is. Like, what wh what makes you believe? Do you really believe that just buying this small plot of land, you're going to be a lord or lady? And it's like, yes, they believe it because that's what you said. And I feel like somebody, this, the one that I fell for, the cleaning, the cleaning scam for $29. Do you really believe that someone's going to clean your house for $29? Well, no, I expect there's going to be a time limit. I expect that it's not going to be $29 every time. Um, I've seen advertisements like this before where it's super cheap at first. And then the next time, um, you know, it's the, it's more expensive. Like I see this stuff all the time, not knowing that now they, they actually charge you like $500. <laughs> I got my money back, but Lord. So I don't know if there's anything we can do about advertisements that just flat out lie <laughs> on those platforms. The issue is when it's your favorite YouTuber that is promoting the scam. And um, they're getting onto this guy, Scott Schaefer. So I'm, as you can see, I get notifications from him. Um, I just recently found him because of the FTX scandal. I am very intrigued by scams, scandals, uh, cults, uh, and, and high control groups. Um, I'm intrigued by the I'm intrigued by the social ones, the religious ones, the political ones, the all of them, financial ones. And um, if you haven't heard. And now you've heard um, the biggest um, crypto fraud like in human history has just occurred. And Scott Schaefer is one of the people who's been keeping me abreast of the new updates. Right. So I get his stuff and then I see this like it's not the usual thing. I'm expecting him to post something about FTX because that's what he's been talking about for the last two weeks. But I see this established title scam. I'm watching it and I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. His points to summarize are that. Um, when you're not legally a lord or lady two, you don't legally own a plot of land three, they are not actually planting the trees. They just claim to donate to a company that plants the trees and there is no evidence of any donations. Um, oh, and then four, they're not actually saving the woodlands. Um, they kind of trying to make it sound like you're buying new land. In some advertisements, they make it sound like when you buy from them, you're buying a new piece of land in the woodlands that's now protected and can't be cut down. But you're not. You're just getting um, you're just getting a reference number um, that refers to some whatever centimeter on their private property. Um, so it's not really it's not really saving the woodlands when you already bought the property. So that piece of property was already saved. Is, does that really count? I don't know. I mean, you could be like, well, yeah, because you're helping the company stay alive so they can keep owning that property, I guess. Like, I just feel like, come on. Like these people who are defending this company, be for real. You mean to tell us that you have never seen an advertisement they really led you to believe one thing and you felt some kind of way when you realized it's the complete opposite. Like, is that what you're telling us? <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was expecting everyone's response to this to be like ordinary gamer. He apologized. I saw that he made an update video. I don't know what he said in the update, but this guy is like, So anyway, this guy is basically saying thank you, uh, Scott Schaefer, for exposing this because people have actually been exposing this company for years. I found videos that date back two years ago. And unfortunately, when you're a smaller channel, uh, just people don't see your stuff. I mean, it's just that simple. And, um, you know, these YouTubers who claim that they do research before they take a sponsorship, no, you don't. Because you 
very easily would have literally you just have to type the the company and the word scam these videos come up mind you it's not every company that has like these type of videos come up by different people and you just listen to their arguments and you decide if you agree with the arguments or not um but a lot of these youtubers are just simply acting like i just had no idea and i just feel like are you for real i mean if you don't check out your sponsors before you agree to it, that's one thing and just admit to it. But some of these people are saying, no, I, I check out my sponsors and no, you don't. Because if little old me can just type this, can just type establish title scam and, and watch like five completely different videos from a year, two years ago, literally all saying the same thing that Scott Schaefer is saying um how come you couldn't do that you know what I mean like you're acting all surprised but I digress I don't know I feel like youtubers um yeah here's the problem people trust youtubers when I don't know how much you you can trust large youtubers um I have been exposed to their world there's even some small youtubers who they are trying to be like the big YouTubers. So they, you know, try to hang out with them and be in the same chat groups and stuff as them. And they're on the same stuff. Um, they all talk to each other. They all, you know, yeah, I was just saying that in my video to stir up controversy and like, you know, <sighs> YouTube world is an interesting world. Okay. Um, I'm not even a large YouTuber. I, I, I don't have many YouTuber friends and it, it, just from the little that I've seen, I am, um, I listen, when I was young, I did want to be a big YouTuber. Yeah. I guess I'm part of the generation. Like when you ask us, what do we want to be when we grow up? Like one of our options is a YouTuber. And now I'm like, I'm really glad I didn't get exposed to that kind of social group <laughs> as a young person because I don't know that it wouldn't be fun. But my point is, um, the average YouTube viewer doesn't know that the average YouTube viewer doesn't know that there are YouTubers who are disingenuous. They don't know that there are YouTubers who will say whatever they need to say for money, for clout. Um, I mean, heck, you don't even you don't have to believe me. I'm just I'm literally just spouting like what I'm thinking and feeling right now as a viewer. Um, and that's what I've seen. And most people don't recognize that. I remember people were getting, there was a, there's a particular YouTuber that I was calling out once. Um, I was calling them out for being, for being fake, for um, basically faking a persona and faking, faking um, an outrage um, and being intellectually disingenuous because they they caught a lick. They found their goal. They found the thing that people are watching their videos for and sending them super chats for. So they're so they're playing into it. Uh, I called this person out, and their fans were really upset with me. They're like, "How could you say that? How could you?" how could you not believe that she's honest and true and she's a good person? It's like, you don't know this person, actually. <laughs> you actually don't know this person. I think some other people have since um, <clears throat> vindicated me, kind of showed some evidence of what I was saying. Um, my main point is, <sighs> unfortunately, People really trust YouTube. They put too much trust in YouTubers. The bigger the YouTuber, the more people trust them. They develop a parasocial relationship with them. It's a stronger one. It's a more scary one than even a parasocial relationship you might have with Beyonce or Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez or Nicki Minaj. When you have a parasocial relationship with a celebrity, they, there's still quite a lot of distance between you and them. You don't believe they will ever see her message. You don't believe they'll ever interact with you. You just love them and you feel that you know them. 
But when it comes to YouTubers, they feel so close. You have their Instagram. They might even follow you back. They heart a couple of comments. What if they see yours? Not only do you feel like you know them, you feel like you know them on a more personal level because it's YouTube. It's not a Hollywood production. Um, it's, you know, idealistically a person like me with just a camera talking and they interact with you. So not only do you get to know them in a way that you can't know celebrities, but they actually get to know you. This builds up a over confident type level of trust. And <clears throat> that's what makes this so insidious. I mean, if you're not familiar with the FTX thing, then I apologize, I'm going to use that as an example. But that's one of the criticisms that we've had of <clears throat> that this same guy, <laughs> Scott Schaefer, and I have to agree with him. Um, guys like Stephen Graham and um, <laughs> the same freaking guys, Andre Gique, the same freaking guys, they were promoting FTX, which was a scam. And that's a really detrimental to their subscribers because Tom Brady was also promoting FTX. Um, you know, Larry was promoting FTX. I don't know his last name. Like all these famous people were promoting FTX. But when this YouTuber that you feel this connection to is promoting it, you feel like, okay, I'll bite. If it's good enough for Stefan, it's good enough for me. Stefan is almost like a friend to me. And the same thing with established titles. You know, the Facebook ads can lie. I mean, we're getting to a point where you just basically, you almost expect it. You are, when you see an ad on social media, you are expecting it to be a scam, right? But when your favorite YouTuber that you trust is promoting a company and they're saying that you can become a lord or lady. <laughs> or excuse me, people like this person, they're going to be mad. They're going to be mad that they said that. Excuse me. You're, impl you're heavily implying that you'll become a lord or lady. <laughs> um, they're going to take you to heart because they trust you. And I feel like I feel like defending this company is betraying that trust. Um, the comments here, I mean, that's my comment. It's simply false advertising. Advertisement. I can't believe we have to explain why false advertising is bad. Okay, that's a South Park reference. I don't know if people will get South Park references anymore. To YouTubers who make their career understanding this type of stuff. That's the thing that I don't like. Um, it's, you know, if when you're a YouTuber who calls out scammers and scams and people being mis misleading or just doing things that aren't ethical, you are bound to get caught up one day. You know, you're bound to get called out yourself. You're about to, you're bound to slip up. One of my favorite YouTubers is Coffeezilla. The reason why I have so much respect for him is because I was <clears throat> subscribed to him back when, Back when he was posting on a, a different channel, um, that's not, it's not called Coffeezilla. It was called the coffee something. It was something else. And he did an expose about uh, this one YouTube channel and basically trying to expose them. And he just got it all wrong. He got it all completely wrong. He was just, he was being very paranoid and he got it completely wrong. And you know what he did? He apologized. He deleted the video. He apologized. He said, that's my fault. Um, that was my mistake. And um, I'm going to do better next time. And if I make a mistake again, I'll, I will react the same way. I will listen, delete my mistake and, uh, and acknowledge my mistake, apologize and do better next time. And I just have a lot of respect for that. I have a lot of respect for that. You know, I, I understand we, we live in a cult in this quote unquote, cancel culture um, is scary, um, especially the bigger you are, the scarier it is. But, um, you know, you got to touch grass, you know, realize that everyone is a human being, including yourself, and you will make mistakes. And literally the same way you handle mistakes in real life, that's all you can do online <laughs> as well. So just do it. Instead of doing that, 
a few of these creators want to um, continue defending their um, cash cow pay daddy. So this person says novelty, souvenir, tongue in cheek, not a real title, not actually purchasing land, etc. Funny how none of this stuff was said in your ad from them page. As long as a long time viewer, you have really disappointed me with this one. While I am not surprised that everything is fully legal, right? I think um, these people defending the company, I can see how you can defend the company because when Scott made that video, I thought to myself, oh, that's an easy fix. Just put a disclaimer on your advertisement, right? So I was thinking if I was a, if I was a creator that took the sponsorship, it's a lot of money. I don't want to lose the sponsorship. Just apologize for lying. Just apologize for having misleading ads. Apologize for having misleading ads. Um, put in your description, you know, in your description next to the link, a disclaimer in all your videos where you talked about the sponsorship, put a disclaimer. Um, please note, you're not legally a land or lady. This is a souvenir and or gag gift um, not to be used for legal purposes. You know, like really simple. It's not hard. Yeah, it takes some, it might take some time, but it's, it's not worth it to, to stop misleading your own supporters. I don't know, it's worth it to me. I do it. I don't, I don't even have, people do not click my affiliate links and even I do it. Well, my point is, it's annoying, but it's worth it apologize for misleading and just say your piece say that you feel like it's a great gag gift um and that you want to keep the sponsorship you're just from now on you're going to state in your verbiage that this is not to be used for legal purposes it's simply a gag gift it's a souvenir gift for laughs not hard yeah, will you lose a few people? You will. You will lose a few people because there's some people who are like, that's not good enough. This is a scam. This is hurting people. Even if you are being legit in your sponsorship, they still have people lying in their sponsorships and you're supporting this company. Like everybody will have their own opinion. Yeah, that's like, that's life. That's life. When I called out a particular, um, a particular YouTuber because I felt they were being fake for clout, I lost a few people. I lost a few nice people. That's okay. We have different opinions. You know what I mean? And that one is was wholly opinion. They couldn't prove to me they weren't fake. And the evidence that I had that they were fake wasn't good enough for them. That's fine. Um, but, but that's what you get when you stand your ground. That's what you get, right? And I just think that's being real. And I think trying to pretend like this is not false advertisement, trying to pretend like the company is not doing anything wrong because their existence is quite legal. That, that doesn't change the fact that it's false advertising. That's wrong. Can we, we, it's weird that we have to explain to these type of YouTube, these YouTubers who value critical thinking that false advertisement and being misleading is bad, okay? Um, <laughs> I just rewatched this. I'm still so baffled at your take. Even their FAQ makes it seem as though people are actually buying land. They put, like, this lady was nice enough to put, <laughs> to, to copy and paste excerpts. Like, come on. <laughs> I agree. Like, all of these comments. I don't think excuses should be made for established titles, there's sh a shady scheme any way you slice it. A lot of emphasis is always put on the Lord Lady thing by commenters, but I thought that part was obviously novelty. The issue is how misleading their ad reads are, not just on the land ownership part, but on the conversation side of things. I have, okay, this person's pretty long, but I think they're saying, um, oh, this part in the script they say you can protect the beautiful, pristine woodlands of Scotland, which absolutely implies that trees are being planted there. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Th these tree companies that they're donating to, <laughs> they're not planting trees in Scotland. One tree, trees for the future, one tree planted. This isn't, 
these are not the over two million trees planted in Scotland and around the world. I don't know what this means. I don't know like where they're getting this data from, but it's not from these two companies. <laughs> I believe these companies just plant trees wherever they want. One tree planted. I do not believe these companies are exclusive to Scotland. Yeah, I mean, bruh. <sighs> India, Indonesia, bruh. <laughs> oh my God, this is bad. Mind you, is this legal? Uh, you know what? I'm sure it's legal. I'm sure somebody could sue if they wanted to. I'm sure somebody could sue. No, actually, you can't. You can't sue because the company's in China, so you can't sue. I mean, you could, but it's kind of like lawyers don't want to deal with those lawsuits because what typically happens is <coughs> that one company gets shut down and they just make a brand new one that does the exact same thing. It's like, so you're just forever playing whack-a-mole. And um, that's another thing that's really annoying me. So the company basically cried to a couple of sponsors to see who would support them. And they're trying to have a smear campaign against Scott Schaefer. <clears throat> now, you know, you might see me as biased because I'm subscribed to him and I receive his notifications. Um, so obviously I like the guy. Um, I don't think he did anything wrong. He didn't say anything wrong. Look, if you don't think the tree thing is, if you don't think that's a big deal, that's fine. But you cannot paint him as a bad guy for bringing up the tree thing. It's, it shows that this company is not honest. It shows that this company will do, will mislead you wh wherever it will benefit them. Whatever will persuade you more to buy from them, they're willing to mislead you. That's what the tree thing means to me. I mean, you can't call this guy a liar for pointing out that they're not planting the trees. They're not planting the trees and they're not planting it in Scotland. And the companies that they're supposedly donating to, they're not planting it in Scotland. And they don't post evidence that they're donating to these companies. So why should we believe them when they're misleading everywhere else? Like, this is not, I, there, this is, there is no reason to, to be butthurt about this student, what he said. The company's quite butthurt understandably they're losing business i just feel like that's what you get for being a scam well like your company is called fail like it's called fail hard or something like that like come on you're not new you're not new to this you're, you're not new to this you're true to in fact you're quite true to this um Dang, that tree thing f tricks me up because when he first said the thing about the tree, oh, they're not planting their own trees. I was just like, whatever, who cares? Like, okay, they're donating to this tree company. But yo, you know, I totally see how somebody would believe I'm helping preserve Scotland. Oh my God. These people are all bringing up great points. And this is like... <laughs> <laughs> every comment so far is like calling her out i think the way many youtubers presented the sponsorship was extremely dodgy i mean yeah and there's this one lady i don't remember her her username but she was saying no they should they told me when they emailed me they said it's not legally binding and i'm pretty and i'm very clear in my in my sponsorship ad when you listen to her sponsorship ad, she's saying the exact same thing everyone else is saying. Oh, it's a Scottish tradition. If you own land, you can be a lord or lady. So own land today with established titles. Like, do you not, don't play that. You're playing, you have to be playing them. You're pretending to not understand how somebody could think they're going to be a lord or lady based on your ad. And then somebody told me, no, when, you, when you're buying when you're buying from them, they have a really big print that that is that is fake. Okay. I I'm not seeing the fakeness here. Okay. Where does it tell me that it's that it's fake? I'm getting five square feet. Tell 
There is no tax on land in Scotland. Are you kidding me? They put there's no tax on land in Scotland. Like, no, n no country is going to tax you for freaking five square feet. They just put this here to make it look even more legit. Are you kidding me? The fake FAQs. Where does it where does it show me? Where does it say? Let's add to cart. Where does it tell me that this is just a gag gift? Where does it, it where does it say? What the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. How about two. It doesn't say anywhere. Would you like to join tree make a pledge every month? Bro, it automatically makes you click yes. Oh my god. <laughs> You know what's so funny? So these YouTubers who are trying to, they're trying to make this website seem legit, right? Literally, what they have done is inspired me to actually look at the website for myself. And now, to me, it's a bigger scam than what I thought was before. It's even bigger. It's an even bigger scam than what I thought before. They automatically click yes for you. I can hear them now. Y yeah, just click no. Just click no. Just like actually read before you buy something and click no. Be, f be for real. Be for real. We come on. Yes. Yes, read and click no but you know you know you know you know that there are people who are just gonna look through here and just click pay this is so easy to overlook And that's some extra, bro. I'm sorry. This is more of a scam than what I thought. And again, some of you, are, you're going to say, it's technically not a scam. <coughs> it's not. Technically, it's not a scam. But to the average everyday person, this feels sc is scammy. And if they fell for, if you fall for it, you feel scammed. <coughs> right? Like, don't lie. Have you not? Has this not happened to you? This has happened to me before where I just overlooked. I just wasn't paying attention or I, I was just I was like, oh, I just let me hurry up and buy this. I wasn't paying attention. And now I'm enrolled in some ex subscription thing that I, I wasn't planning on. Like, come on, this has happened to everyone. <clears throat> and then you feel you feel scam like I didn't want that. I did not go out of my way to select that. Oh, well, you were supposed to click now. We we click it for you automatically. Well, don't don't. Like I didn't go out of my way to select that, so I wasn't paying attention to what? You don't you don't have like that's scammy. It's it's like um what's that one service? You know how, uh, how Amazon, they have a customer support line that you can call, but they do everything in their power to prevent you from finding that number. They took it off Google. When you go to About Us, it's not there. When you click Help, you got to click through 50 million living things. Um, then finally, when you, when you figured out what to click, to get to the number they say do you want us to call you we can call you and then you have to figure out what to click to see the actual number you know what i'm saying it takes 20 minutes to find the actual amazon customer support right don't you hate that you feel like that's kind of scammy you feel it like you understand you understand from a business standpoint why they would do that but you as a customer you feel like that's kind of scammy you know what i mean like be for real like from the customer perspective and we're not even asking for much we're asking for you to just like 
like stop being scammy like just be regular (laughs) bro this is so bad this is worse than what i even what i i feel worse than when i started this video to be honest i fail to see how that's not still a scam even if it's spelled out to be clear and super legal on the website i need to find find where on the website is it spelled out clear because <laughs> bro hold on don't tell me it's in the damn terms and conditions The purchase of a title pack from established titles does not constitute or trigger a transfer of ownership over that souvenir plot or any uh, part of the land in the legal sense. Bro, you have to go to the terms and conditions. I'm sorry. This is a scam. The average person, even you, don't play stupid. Don't, don't pretend like you knew all this before the dude's video. The normal person will think they've done their due diligence reading the FAQ. How many, I can count on one hand how many times I have actually read a terms and conditions. There's a, I guess I watched a lot of South Park growing up, but y'all remember that human centipede episode of South Park? It was like, you're now in the human centipede. What do you mean? Well, in your Apple terms and conditions, it said that you volunteered to be part of the human centipede. But nobody reads the terms and conditions, right? Like nobody reads the terms and conditions. Like, dude, I'm sorry. You put the clear language on the one part of the website that is so notorious for nobody reading that there are TV episodes based on that premise. And you're trying to convince us this is not a scam. Look, I understand it's a legal operation. There are a lot of things that are legal that (laughs) that's not ethical. Like, it's legal to apparently to spill oil into the ocean and (laughs) it's legal to create new man-made chemicals that are detrimental to wildlife and human life and spill it out to the ocean. And now it's literally in all of our bodies and we will never be rid of this harmful chemical for the rest of our human existence. We will be fighting the health effects of this chemical. If you know, you know. If you know, if you know, you know. And that's legal. That doesn't that doesn't mean it's ethical. That doesn't mean it's not scammy. Bruh. It's like it's like if somebody's getting married. Can you wear white to their wedding? Can you wear a big white dress to their wedding? Technically speaking, you can. Legally speaking, you can. Is anyone going to be okay with it? No, everyone's going to look at you like you're a doofus. (laughs) Everyone's going to look at you like you have malintent, like you you don't care about anyone, like you don't care about the people getting married. People are going to look at you funny. Okay, like just because... You're operating legally doesn't mean you're not scammy. Dude, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. It would have made sense if you talked with a scam expert instead of someone who wants to defend her business. Oh, yeah. So I think. She interviewed a businesswoman. Oh, that's another thing. They keep they keep calling this dude a 
racist. I'm saying it weird because I don't want YouTube to flag my video. They're calling him a racist because he brings up that this company is in Hong Kong and China. Look, I don't know. Let me know if you disagree. I think it's relevant. This is a company talking about protecting Scotland and making and like making you a lord or lady because of Scottish tradition. But the company is from Hong Kong. That is sus. Just saying that's suspicious. Um, I think that's relevant. Guy is saying that you can there's less regulation in Hong Kong, so you can get away with more scammy stuff. Yeah, you can. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I don't know how legal is this. I really feel like someone has grounds to sue this company. I do. I think I like, like Loki, you could do a la cla what's it called? class action lawsuit. Everybody who bought from this company, get together and sue them. I think you could get away with that. And this company will just be able to pop up again because it's true. China is very loose with the regulations on business. This is why ladies, if you know, you know, uh, and non-ladies, um, where do we get our dupes? Hello, where do we get our bags? Where do we get our bag dupes and shoe dupes? There's a reason, it's a reason. It's a reason it comes from a particular place because that particular place has very lenient laws and they can get away with it. Okay, per period. Like, duh, I don't know. To me, it's relevant. I don't recall him bringing up the lady's actual ethnic group or rise. I don't, I can't say that word. <laughs> I don't recall him bringing up the lady's um, personal anything. Um, I feel like this lady's just protecting her company. Makes sense. I just feel like you are y'all and everyone who's made videos like this. What makes me mad is this one in particular. She's like, oh, I just wanted to see all the facts. I just wanted to see all the facts. But you interview the person who's scamming. <laughs> you want all the facts. But the only person you're interviewing is the actual accused scammer. Okay. Um, bro, all of these comments. The company charges a ridiculous amount of money for a novelty or gag gift. That, that's another thing people are saying. It's only $50. It's only $50. That's a lot. That's actually a lot of money. No, that's actually a lot of money. That is a lot of money to spend on a gift. Just think about it. Just think about it. Who, who would you spend $50 on? Who would you spend $50 on? No, stop. If you make over six figures, then whatever. Whatever. But if you are the average person... And below, $50 is a lot of money to you to spend on a gift, right? You might, you are stretching to do 20. If you do a $20 gift, that's like, ugh, but I really like this person. I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? $50 on a gift is a lot. So the people who are trying to say it's not a lot of money, so it's not a big deal, well, maybe so you may be Miss, Mr. and Mrs. I make a couple grand a month off of YouTube. Yeah, maybe it's on, maybe to I make 50 grand from the sponsorship. Maybe it's not a lot to you, but to your viewer. That's what makes me upset. These are your viewers. These are your subscribers. These are your supporters that you're trying to convince to be dupes. Y'all are, I just feel like y'all are wrong for that. I just, I just feel like y'all are so wrong for that. Man, what a scam. At 60 Minutes, you can watch the phony CEO trying to back the you can change your passport and credit card name. Now saying, well, you can change your name into whatever you want. Mm. Did she just say some airline companies, they let you choose your title, Mr. or Mrs., Dr., Lord or Lady? Which, which, which airline? Which, which airline? <laughs> which airline? Unless you put Lord or Lady. Which one? Which one? Hold on. 
let's try to um buy a plane ticket right now and see if they'll let me refer to myself as a modern lady. <clears throat> Mm, let's go to Akron. Oh, oh. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know what where that is. But let's go. What error has occurred, bruh? This is Spirit Airlines. Okay. Let's not waste our time with that. Um, I I personally have never filled out anything that let me put Lord or Lady. Um I, I get what she's trying to say. This I'm sorry. This person is this person is a scam. I'm sorry. What they're trying to say is there are forms that exist. They exist. I like I know they do because yeah, maybe one or two times in my life I may have seen it on a form where you choose your title. And one of the titles may be Lord or Lady. Because those exist, you can change your name, your title. You can. Um, you don't need to buy their souvenir land to do that. You can just choose it. Bruh. First of all, typically I only see Mr. and Mrs. and Miss or none. Every now and then I might see senior and junior, which are aff affixes, suffix suffixes. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe one time, maybe one time I have seen Lord Late. Like, bro, I'm sorry. D d you see why my brain was itching? You see why you see why my brain was itching? Whew. Look. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I did not mean for this to become an hour long rant. I just ha I just had to go through this with someone. I know, I know it's only going to be 15 people who watch this. I know. Thanks for chilling with me. Like this was making my brain itch. I just can't go through it alone. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Bruh, this woman is a whole scam. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And now she's technically she's not a scam. Okay, you do you. You do you. You do you. Ask for me. This is enough to qualify as scam. This is scam. This is scam. This is scam behavior. Look, okay. Let me tell you. What everyone was calling better help a scam. I, I wasn't with that. You know, I was like, better help is not a scam. Better help is not a scam. But even me, mind you, I'm not sponsored by better help. I'm not sponsored by nobody. I'm not sponsored by better help. I used better help. It helped me in my life. It got me an affordable therapist. And there was people like, what, you could have gotten someone with a, like a skill, whatever, a therapist that like, depending on your income, the price goes down. I was like, I don't have any of those in my area. And there are none. <clears throat> well, you can find one here on this website that will meet you virtually on sliding scale. Uh, I can't find one that's accepting new patients. Like people just kept trying to find me alternatives that I could have used instead of better help. And it's like, okay, in all this time trying to find someone not through better help, I I can just use better help. <laughs> so anyway, better help was good for me, but I <clears throat> could understand that they're calling it a scam because their terms and conditions were sh shady and people were unfortunately they got uh connected to bad therapists you can change your therapist but you don't get to choose you don't get to choose your therapist um it's like russian roulette um and i get why they do that you know so it feels fair for the therapist but <clears throat> if you get two bad therapists in a row you're pretty much throwing all of better help away so i'm like oh i get it yeah i get it um so i just kind of feel like okay to me, it's not a scam, but yeah, it, it is possible to have a bad experience, right? That's my takeaway from it. Um, then I saw something where BetterHelp was, um, they were using psychologists on a website. And when you click that psychologist, because you, you want to contact that specific psychologist it takes you to better help 
and that psychologist doesn't work for better help i was like okay i'm sorry i'm done yeah better help your scam like you actually provide a great service but you <clears throat> you are way too scammy you are way too scammy I can't like if I ever promote you, I have to say, you know, at your own caution, I had a great experience. But, um, you know, I understand that they have some weird practices like I can't promote you the same ever again. And I feel like, you know, I feel like at least that's real. You know, if you felt like something wasn't a scam, you knew that this was a gag gift. You love it. Can you at least comprehend that not everybody felt that way? Not everybody has that experience. Um, can you at least <clears throat> admit like be for real that in order to find the actual reality of what this is, you have to read the terms and conditions. Like that's like, oh my gosh, this is so, this is so annoying. So irritating. Honestly, I feel like Paige is simply trying to save her own face here as she felt personally slighted by this calling out. <clears throat> yeah. There's another guy like Willie Mack. And I love that guy, Willie Mack. I don't know if Willie Mack is sponsored. At this point, I feel like I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming if you're defending this company, I'm assuming you have taken them as a sponsor or you're playing the algorithm game, you know, which is you have a different opinion. People disagree with you. So they comment like you don't really care about the backlash type of thing. Um, I don't know. This kind of makes me feel different about you, Willie Mac. I don't know. Because Willie Mac's like, no, it's not a scam. Um, But can you be FFR for a minute, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh. Oh, so Willie Mac said that Scott in this video has a. Oh, did he remove the people's names or is this a new one? He had a whole list of names. I don't know where it went. <clears throat> I don't know where. He had a whole list of names of creators. Calling them out. Um, shots fired. Hey, I love it. Shots shots fired. And I can see how some of those creators may have felt like it's a personal attack. I can see that. Um, can you see it the other way, though, too? Could you, you know, maybe you have beef with him. I don't know. Maybe you have beef with him. So you feel like it's a personal attack. Can you see how all of the customers watching don't see it as a personal attack and or do not care because you're promoting a scam? Like, just stop promoting the scam. I don't know. <clears throat> as a Scott, I'm disappointed that many of my favorite YouTubers have been pushing the scam. Oh, environmental protection and cons conservation in Scotland is a really complex issue and it's not as simple as blocking off land and planting a few trees, which they're not planting the trees in Scotland. I'm not going to get over that tree thing. Like it just, it really struck me hard because I really did not, I did not give a flying monkey about the tree thing. I really did not care. I'm sorry. I did not care. Like, I did not care. But when that person said they're not planting the trees in Scotland and it's making people feel like you're helping Scotland because they're planting trees in Scotland, I was like, you're, dude, you're right. I didn't even think about that. And I didn't care about the trees because if I were to buy this gift, I'm not, I don't give a damn about the trees. The trees is not what sold me on the gift. But... What if it did? What if, because there are people who buy stuff because they want to, oh, I'm helping the environment. And that would really, that would get you. That would make you fall for it. It's that you, the, the fact that you can fall for it, right? You, you, should, you should be able to buy a gift, buy a product, and not feel like you fell for something. You should feel like you bought the gift, right? Like, this is my favorite gift that I, I bought for myself, okay? Um, this is like my favorite character in life okay she's my role model and she is who I aim to be if you don't know who she is it's Kim Wexler from a show called Better Call Saul which is a spinoff of Breaking Bad and Breaking Bad is my favorite show ever okay so this is like my spirit animal my comfort character 
Right. So I did not feel like I fell for anything when I bought this. It said bobblehead Kim from Better Call Saul. And it exceeded my expectations. Not only does her head bobble, um, it even has like post-it notes, which is relevant if you've seen the show. And it has like this wine bottle, which is relevant if you've seen the show. It has her outfit. This is what she wears. It even has her ponytail done exactly in the style. It's so you very easily could have done this ponytail incorrectly. You did it perfectly. You made it look like her. That looks like her. Like you literally exceeded my expectations. That's the ideally how you should feel after you buy a gift. You should not feel like you fell for something. You should not feel like you got scammed. You should not feel like, oh, they got me. You shouldn't feel that way. And you should, you should, you should feel bad that your followers feel that way. Don't you feel bad? I feel bad. Whenever I promote something and later I realize it's bad, I feel bad. I sometimes, I, <clears throat> I even go and apologize to people that I know it affected them. I feel bad. <laughs> and if I didn't apologize to you for introducing you to something that I thought was good and now I know it's bad. When you tell me, hey, that was bad and, and that hurt me, I will acknowledge your feelings. I'm not going to brush it off because I got an exclusive with the scammer themselves. Bruh, I'm just, I just can't believe this. Damn, I really hope Paige reads all these comments and takes them to heart. I doubt it. These YouTubers, even the Willie Mac, I don't know. I mean, Willie Mac, he might, like, literally Willie Mac, I don't know. I don't know if he's just talking or if he believes what he's saying, but he is the kind of person that, well, of what I know of him, he will read the comments. I don't know if it will change his opinion or help him understand the points that are being made, but everyone else, I don't see them giving a damn. <laughs> is there money at stake? I'm sorry, when did it suddenly become okay for influencer to for influencers to promote sketchy crap and then be absolved of responsibility once the sketchiness is revealed. Don't we remember the Gabby Hanna makeup brush? Yo, y'all roasted Gabby Hanna over some damn makeup brushes. <laughs> Bro, the same people who are saying this is not a scam are the same people who are exposing Gabby Hanna about them damn makeup brushes. And y'all are using the same argument. She's using the same argument. She was like, what did you expect during a dollar? Come on, like, what did you expect? Like, literally the same arguments. Bruh. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, I need to go to bed. Oh my God, it's 1 a.m. I need to go to bed. I could read this all day. So I'm paying $59 plus shipping for a goofy certificate. Thanks, I can Photoshop my Lord or Lady Delusion for free with maybe $10 for framing, right? So again, they're trying to act like the pricing is not a big deal. That's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for something that's fake, that's advertised as if it's not fake. Oh my God, it's still a scam. Bruh, what gets me is this owner, she is doubling down. She's like, no, there are there are airlines that you can call yourself Lord or Lady. Like, yeah, like, no, it's for real. <laughs> it's for real. But you are. You're saying you said most jurisdictions will allow you to change your title when you choose to. What are you talking about? Bruh. And Paige is like, I got, I've got, i gathered all the facts. I've spoken with the owner and I've gathered all the facts. I'm sorry. Somebody's going to get mad at me for imitating these, the, her accent. Um, if it makes you feel any better, I, I did learn English in England, even though I can't do the accent anymore. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm not, I'm so like, I'm, this makes my brain itch too hard. Um, and I don't know. Um, it's been an hour. I need to go to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me as I react to YouTubers desperately trying to hold up their company, their sponsorship so they can keep having the sponsorship. They don't want the sponsorship to go away. No, that's not what I meant to click. Um, I don't know. Has anybody else uploaded anything else before I head off? I'm actually really upset with myself because I wanted to go to bed like an hour ago and I just cannot hold this in. Let's see what, because this guy, he apologized. Let's see if he takes it back. That's not true because I don't get sponsored, but anyway. You can't, oh, I'm so sorry. You cannot hear the audio. I'm sorry. You cannot hear the freaking audio. Oh my gosh, this makes me mad. I'm not, I'm not re-recording this. I'm sorry. I didn't know you can't hear the audio. He said, apparently, if you have a pulse, you get a sponsorship. And I said, that's not true because I don't have one. Um, see, this is why I don't believe these apologies. He said, we were reassured by the company that this is just a novelty gag gift. So we decided to go ahead with it. Why, why, so why did you apologize the other day? Then what was that apology for? If you knew this whole time it was a gag gift. So what was your apology for? And if you knew it was a gag gift, why did you not say that? in your advertising of the gift, bruh. <clears throat> I, I'm so not interested in these. I'm so not, okay, whatever. Um, it's kind of annoying. What did this person say? This person's trying to fight with me. There was no false advertisement. Everything that established titles needed to get across and everything. Well, one one thing they needed to get across is that there is no legal standing with their purchase. And that isn't even gotten across in their FAQ page. Please stop feigning ignorance. Please stop feigning naivety. What else does this person say? <clears throat> Everything they've been criticized for not getting across, they do either on their homepage about us or sponsor brief. Customers cannot see sponsor brief. And the only page that even has an inkling of what was needed is in the terms and conditions, a page that is notorious on all website and services for not being read. These people defending it are so annoying. Stop playing, stop lying. Somebody really told me, oh, right before you buy it, it tells you that it's a gag gift. And I believe them. It wasn't until I went to the website myself with y'all that we saw with our own eyes that no, it doesn't say anything. In fact, it leads you into another scam, hoping that you don't see that you just opted in for $8 a month. All right, I'm done. Time for bed. Thanks for watching. If you vibe, subscribe. Until next time, peace out.